Okay, so this second lecture is just a quick overview of how to integrate CODE with uh, various systems for the automated testing of codes. So to this end, CODE will support the generation of the reports in different formats. Currently, we support the usage of CSV, of JSON files, as well as HTML files. And instead of stopping in this slide, I would like to present you a brief demo that we have prepared on Jenkins. Jenkins is a, is a platform for CI CD. And can you confirm that you still see my screen? Yes. Great. So in this Jenkins demo, we have integrated Cody and we have prepared the analysis of four projects. In this case, AP Patterns, Imeno, Hikon, and Embed TLS. And we can pick any one of them. And we can see on the left side how this will allow us to have different Cody runs over the time. And for each of the Cody runs, we will have a series of artifacts. Now, if we navigate, for instance, to this HTML report artifact, we will be able to see the output of the usual screening report from Cody. Now, instead of the command line, we are able to see it in a visual rich representation in the browser. This, for instance, will be especially useful when targeting other users that are not used to the command line, such as managers. And we here are able to see the ranked a list of checkers by priority, including links to the open catalog, etc. In addition to the HTML format, we also have JSON and CSV, as I was saying. For instance, here we can see the uh, JSON output of the checks report over this project. And we can see that Cody generates an array of objects, each containing the corresponding improvement opportunity details. In this instance, we have identified this check of the open catalog that contains this priority on this part of the code with, with these details. Now, this JSON and CSV formats will be especially useful to post process the output of Cody. And this will allow you, for instance, to uh, periodically uh, assess the health of your project by understanding which checks of the open catalog have been applied to the code over time and which news are one are appealing. In addition to this, we can also easily capture the output of Cody. Uh, let me go to any of these runs. As you can see here, this is the standard output that is performed by the command line, and this will allow, for instance, to monitor ongoing jobs or to just store the results for future reference. In any case, the integration of Cody with a CI CD pipeline doesn't have to be uh, anything that complicated as this. For instance, on Permotor, we will have available the scrontaf tool. And scrontaf will allow us to schedule the execution of periodic jobs. And one of these periodic jobs can be the execution of Cody over any code that you are interested in. To do this, we will just need to create two scripts. The first script will be the actual Cody analysis script that loads Cody, goes to the project that we are interested in, and runs all the relevant Cody reports. And now we also need to write the corresponding scroll up configuration that will specify when to run this analysis. For instance, in the last line that we have in this slide, we have a configuration that will run the previous Cody analysis on this project on Monday to Friday at the start of each day. And it will store the output in a different file for future reference. We can even improve these types of scripts by sending notifications to your mail so, you, so that you can get reminders on when the execution is complete so do that you can check out the results. So it's as simple as this. Uh, the possibility of outputting the code reports in different formats will be is what will allow you to integrate this with different CI CD systems. So prefer the JSON and CSV formats for the post-processing of the Cody data to perform any extraction metrics or insights and use the HTML report for the generation of comfortable to view uh, reports. So that would be all of 